Good morning, everyone. How is everyone today? Good, good. So today I wanted to start off by talking a little bit about homes and about apartments. Remember we talked about that uh, about a week ago, right? So, right here I have the keys to my apartment, right? Actually, right here. Now, I moved out from my mother's house a few years ago. Now, where you are from, what is the normal age to move out from your parents' house? Anyone? Yes. Brian. 18. Wow, 18. Okay. So 18. Do we think that's normal? Is that young or old? Yes, yes. Elena? Okay, so 29. So that's a little older, right? Um, a little older than 18, right? And is that normal in Russia? Okay. Okay. So, oh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, 25. Okay. So in between, in between. Now, why do we think it may be different, different ages? Okay, yes. Okay, so it, it may be different. People work at different ages. Uh, yes. Right. Okay, good. So maybe it's, it, it, it's a little harder, maybe, or you, you start to work earlier. I understand. Okay. Um, yes, for me, uh, I went off to school, to the university, and I came back and um, I started working. And so that is why, why I moved out and when I moved out. Now, the, the age that people are moving out at, is changing. Do we do we know why? Since years ago, it has it has gone up. Do we know why? Okay, yes. Right. So, the the economy maybe right. The economy is is changing. Things are changing, right? What else? Anyone? Okay. So, I would say that people are, are coming back and moving back in with their parents at an, at an older age and staying, trying to get a job, trying to work, right? Um, so, they are, they are a little older now doing that. They, they're staying, they are staying with their parents until they can find a good job and save money. So they are, they are staying until a little later, sometimes 25, 26, like you said, 29, right? Like myself, a little older, uh, 28. So, do we all remember talking about the, the house vocab from a few weeks ago, right? So, for example, what, what is a ceiling? What is a ceiling? Um, how about you, Claudia? What is a ceiling, Claudia? Yes, very good. This is the ceiling right here, right? Inside the house or the building and the top, exactly what you just pointed to, right? Very good. So, what is the roof? The roof. Uh, Ernan, what, what is the roof, Ernan? Very good outside of the house, at the top of the building, right? Or at the top of, of any building, there's, there's the roof, right? Very good. What about the door? The door. Um, Lely. Very good, yes. So we use the door to go in and out, right, of the house or the building. Very good, very good. So we all remember that um, very well, right? Okay. So, what we are going to talk about today is the second conditional sentences. Does anyone remember that from, have you heard of that in a, in a 
prior class in a class before today? Anyone? Okay, go ahead. What, what is the second conditional? Uh-huh. No, go ahead. Very good. Yes, so it's like that. Uh, what the second conditional is, is you talk about a hypothetical or an imaginary situation and in the present or in the future and the consequence or the result that that would bring. So you have an imaginary or hypothetical situation in the present or the future and then the consequence that that would, would bring. So I will give you an example. Um, if you won the lottery, what would you do? If you won the lottery, what would you do? Anyone? How about Natalia? Natalia, if you won the lottery, what would you do? Okay, good. So you would buy a boat, right? So, the hypothetical or imaginary situation is if you won the lottery, right? So that's imaginary. You did not win the lottery, right? Hopefully you will one day, but you did not win the lottery, right? So if you won the lottery, that hypothetical or imaginary situation, winning the lottery, what would you do? You would buy a boat. So you have that hypothetical or imaginary situation and then the consequence or the result, which would be buying a boat. You would buy a boat, right? So, let me give you maybe one more. So, you could say, you could say, if I had time, I would, right? help you. So if I had time, that's the imaginary or hypothetical situation, I would help you. So that is the result or the consequence, what you would do. If you had that imaginary situation, what you would do. So both of them are imaginary. If this happened, I would do this. So. Let's go over the, the form of the second conditional, okay? So, it goes like this. If, right, if plus simple past. So, if plus the simple past. And then we have the would or the wouldn't, you see that here, right? The would or the wouldn't, and then that then plus the base form of the verb, right? So, if, let's look at the example we had before. If I had time, so the simple past, had, right? So if I had time, okay? Now where is the base form in the consequence? Anyone? Um, how about Elena? Elena? Very good. Help. Help, right? So if I had time, I would help you. So we have the if. We have the simple past, had. We have the would, right? Here's the would. And then the base form, help. So if I had time, I would help you. And so that's, that's the structure of the second conditional. If I had time, I would help you. If I won the lottery, I would buy a boat, like we said before, right? If I won the lottery, I would buy a house. So 
imaginary situation and then the consequence or the result, right? So, does everyone understand that? Any questions? Okay, good. So, what I want to do now is I'd like to move on to the next, uh, where we will, do a, we will do a worksheet and go over this. After I just mentioned one more thing to you guys. So, would. The verb would. It, would you say that, it, is that certain? You must. It, is it more certain? Yes, right? I would. Now, there is another verb that we can use here that I want to tell you about. Okay? And so that verb is could or couldn't. Couldn't, right? We remember this? Can, could, be able to, right, from last week? So, could would be less certain. Less certain. So, if we said, if I had time, I could help you. What does that mean? Yes, Natalia. Right, so it's possible, exactly, it's possible. Do we remember going over that last week? Can, could, be able to, right? So it's less certain than the verb would. It's less certain than, than would, sorry. It's less certain than would, right? So if I said, if I had time, I could help you, that means, well, maybe I will, maybe I will not. It's not certain. It's a maybe. It's possibly. You can, but you can't, right? So, that is the only other uh, thing that I wanted to cover with, to talk about with the structure today. And so now we will move on to the worksheet here that I have for you guys, okay? So I'm going to pass this out, and you guys can do this in pairs. This is a pair work exercise, okay? So I'm going to pass this out and then I'm going to go over uh, the example at the top with everyone, okay? Okay, so let's go over the first one here, okay? Now the choices are A, B, C, and D. We have done exercises like this before, right? And we need to fill the correct answer with the correct second conditional part of the sentence, okay? So let's go over the first one. Um, Ernan, can you please read that for me? Good. If I had a dog. Now, if I had a dog. Now, what do we think the correct answer is, um, Claudia? Very good. Yes. I would walk him every day. Very good. Very good. So that was the example, so that was easy because they gave it to us, right? But that, that's how we do the exercise. So I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to work on this in pairs so you can stay where you are and work with the person next to you. And I will give you a few minutes to go over this exercise, okay? And then we will go over the answers. So, let's go over the next one there. Okay. How about Ashley? Can you read the, the next one, please? Very good. So, if I had a car, what did you have for the answer? Right. If I had a car, I would drive it. Very good. Okay. So, you guys did very good on that. Very good. So, I'm glad everyone got them all correct. 
and we are doing very well and we understand it, right? So now I'm going to hand out a sheet of paper and I want you to, I want you to draw something for me. If you won the lottery and you could take a vacation anywhere, if you won a trip, if you won a trip, a vacation anywhere, where would you go, okay? So I want you to draw this. I'm going to hand it out to you guys. Okay. So what did you what did you draw? Um Brittany. So if I had one or if I had one a vacation, where would you go? So if you had one a vacation, you would go to the Bahamas? Very good. That's a beautiful picture. Look at that picture, everyone. If Brittany won a vacation, she would go to the Bahamas. Very good. Okay, so I'm glad everyone showed their pictures. And that is the end of class today. So everyone have a good day. Okay, I will see you tomorrow.